What is up players, it's Wombas Tay up in this mode. I'm doing a little introduction before the actual introduction of the video because I wanted to show you what the finished product of the Skin Wolf looks like, all built up. Stay tuned for me for to see me unboxing this guy, talking about the mold lines and um, trying to get to um, grips with putting him together. Hope you enjoy the video, stay tuned for the next one. What is up, players? It's Wallboss Tay up in this mood. And today I'm unboxing the event only Skin Wolf by Warhammer Forge. You can only get it now if you go on to eBay or get it like I did from a friend who had it and <clears throat> didn't want it. There are three sprues that come with it it's the standard um, resin, or it looks like, actually, no, it looks like the, it's on fine cast sprues. I don't know, you can kind of tell because it's got all this crazy flash on it and um, Forge World stuff. <coughs> Before, I know it usually come on big fat resin tabs. So, um, I'm gonna be um, unclipping stuff and showing it to you, then I'll build it up, or I'll um, go on and wash off the mold release agent with dishwashing soap and warm water, and then glue the thing together, and we'll bring it back to uh, show you the finished product. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the base here. So I clip it off of the sprue. rocky base that the uh, skin wolf is standing on. It comes on a 48 millimeter base, square base because it's for Warhammer Fantasy, but if you want to use it as some kind of crazy space monster in 40k, then all you have to do is use a round base instead. I don't know why you would do that though. I think this would be a great substitute for a Vargulf in, in the Vampire Counts army range. So nice detail on the, the rock there, let's move on. The other thing you get on this sprue is, oh, super cool, the Empire Army uh, soldier being held up. So, let's see, that's as close as we can get. There we go. So he's got some mold lines, but just the sculpt of him with his head thrown back. Oh, I don't feel good. Harold! Oh no, Harold, are you okay? I love how they um, sculpted it to look like he's actually hanging. The clothes are stretching, the gravity is pulling his leg and his head back, his legs down and his head back. And um, I wish the legs were a little bit more bent uh, to show, you know, gravity and that his back is arched. But I guess because of the, the sculpt needing to be a certain angle, they couldn't do that unless they Unless you have to assemble the legs differently, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, mold lines here down the outside and the inside of his pants. Just really uh, love Harold's expression. His name is Harold. <clears throat> Next, let's take a look at the Skin Wolf body itself. I'll just clip outside. So, the body comes in one big piece here with the uh, with the torso, the right leg, and the right arm. The head is thrown back to look as if it's howling. I can see some mold lines down the outside of the leg. Cool Chaos Star brand on the right side of the chest, that's pretty cool. There's a mold line down the arm there. I'm gonna need to clean up some flash on the belt, but otherwise pretty cool and um, be painting the tattered skin over the fur. Yeah, so unlike other, unlike other um, forms of fiction with werewolves in it, where the, the fur sprouts on the skin and the body kind of changes, I kind of like how if you go to the Warhammer Forge website and look at these skin with models, the, the, war, the werewolf is already inside the human or the creature and then it just starts like bursting out of it so like your skin rips open and you can see the fur underneath so this is all going to be painted in a warm skin flesh tone and I think it's going to look pretty cool even though it's really going to be gross getting to some of these mold lines are going to be tough though I just know that I just know it <clears throat> next we're taking a look at the right arm so you can see it's got a mold line down the center there and there's that that fur bursting out from the skin underneath. 
It's gonna be a lot of fun to paint. A little bit of flash, mold line there, mold line there. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Take a look at the hands. There's one. And if you don't want to have him holding Harold, if you want Harold to live and not be in the model, then you get an extra left hand. Although I don't know why, because that part of the diorama looks so cool, but maybe you don't want to paint up an Empire Trooper. So instead, you get this second hand for free. That's gonna go in my bits box. Next, you get Harold's arms, left and right, and these are the Puffy City State sleeves, mold line there, a lot of flash between the fingers, um, a lot of flash on the sleeves. You can also see some pretty nasty looking air bubbles. Yeah, look at, just look at all the weird miscastiness in there. <sighs> Fancy myself a collector, that's why I love these limited edition models. I would go to these events for the event only models, I just I can't, it's too far away. I'm in Hawaii, I'm on a little rock in the middle of the ocean. Here's the left leg, the one that is propped up, I believe, on the rock. Mold line down the center, as always, and no air bubbles though. So if this really is the fine cast, resin, oh, I mean, there's Okay, I do see some little bubbles in there, but like the smooth part of the lower leg, the werewolf's lower leg is completely smooth and um, except for the mold line, there's no real weirdness to it. And that could just be, you could just paint that as, um, you know, like the skin bursting open and bleeding down himself. I'm wondering if I should use Tamiya Clear Red to represent blood anywhere on this guy, except for the, um, the Obviously, Harold is going to need some Tamiya Clear Red because he got all cut up. But for uh, for Poochie here, I don't know. The Skin Wolf's face. It's a mold line right across. Oh man, look at that sculpt. That looks really cool. Mold line right across the front there. But yeah, look at that. Look at that expression. That's going to be great. I'm going to love painting that up. The teeth too look really awesome. Unfortunately, just you know the limitations of the material. The limitations of the casting material and the resin. Um, you can't mold all the teeth, and I am anticipating them to be very sensitive and delicate when I'm cleaning them. But man, look at all of that. You're gonna have to really do this, clean this one separately, I'm not going to be able to just brush it with the toothbrush like the other pieces. I have to really um, pick that flash out. Anyway, thanks for watching up till now. I'm going to go off and clean the pieces, clean off the mold lines, wash them in warm water and uh, dishwashing soap, which you should do whenever you're working with resin. Glue it together using Zapigap super glue, and I'll let it dry and then I'll show you what the finished model is. Spooky Toberfest continues after this. Alright, players, we are back, and this is the completed model. The gluing was gluing them gluing this together was alright, except for um, when I was gluing the legs together and trying to get it to pose stand up on the rock, I noticed that the back leg was not even to the ground, so I'm gonna need to glue extra sand or a little bit of debris there but you don't really notice it and it was either I get both feet flush and then have the wolf kind of like leaning to the side or I have him up on his toes in the back flat foot up here which is the most prominent invisible and just try to figure out how to work around that on the side I um, wanted to model him to make it look like Harold is just kind of lying lying flat, but because of the way the shoulder joins into the torso, I couldn't do that. The arm has to be at this angle, kind of like he's uh, pull, pulling him back, which seems kind of strange to me, but I guess because they want him to line up evenly. And then um, you glue in Harold right over there at the bottom. 
but uh, I'm very happy with the way this model turned out. I think that it's a cool sculpt. I wish that they weren't limited edition. Uh, I just want to zoom in a little bit. The mold lines were a little bit hard to clean off, especially... What was the hardest part? Oh, yeah, the fangs. I knew it. And one of the fangs, I think, is actually missing from the mouth. I think when I glued them together, the, the left canine, the one that's supposed to be on this side, is was missing or I ripped it off or something so to make sure that that didn't happen with the right side because I was trying to scrape the flash around the mouth and then I saw the canine start to bend and I was like oh no so I grabbed some super glue and I uh, tried to fix that uh, mold lines and flash overall were pretty easily taken care of uh. Um, but I'm, I'm really happy it's halfway through Spookytoberfest and I'm only now starting on him so I'm gonna try to get um, get him done as soon as I can. There was a bad join back here from the head to the neck. Really strange. So I might try to liquid green stuff that or just maybe paint over it and hope nobody notices. But yeah, here is my Wolfman. So hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing and product review. For um, ease of cleaning for this model, if you're able to get it, I would say that it is definitely you need to be a little bit more experienced with building and cleaning models or else all the flash and all the little fiddly bits like the fangs, the fingers, there's some really uh, weird things going on with the fingers just because they're so long. Um, and the arms of the poor empire sword um, soldier in the back, very kind of hard to clean. So. Uh, I'm gonna have to give that like a, a C, a C average, just because it's it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of difficult. But at the same time, you don't have that many pieces to clean, and the mold lines on the smooth areas are relatively easy to scrape off. For extra options, I'm gonna have to give that a D to an F, just because the only extra option you get with this kit is one open hand, left hand, if you don't want to have Harold here in the back, but then, like I said, why would you want to do that? It looks coolest when he's standing up on this rock and howling with the little dead guy in the back there. Um, but yeah, for overall look and feel of the model, A+. Just the, the head alone, the expression of the face is very reminiscent of that old... Do you guys remember the movie The Howling? For those of you who are a little bit older, that used to, that movie, series of movies used to terrify me when I was a boy. Don't have any really good werewolf movies out there that are, you know, scary and not stupid teen romance kind of werewolves. So, um, yeah, the howling. Ooh, spooky stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this little unboxing, and we'll see you on the next one.